Hello golfers, it's John Dunnigan of Carside Coaching. I'm on my way to the Country Club of Harrisburg to give a clinic for the members uh, at the request of my friend Jeff Briner. And it got me to wondering about what these folks are expecting. Are they expecting some kind of magic pill? Someone like me comes in and may, waves my magic wand and ta-da, they're all better at golf. Now, as you may or may not know, that is unlikely at best, correct? Right? But what I'm going to talk to these folks about that I think they might like a ton is not the magic bullet or the magic wand, or excuse me, the magic pill, but the magic wand. And I am going to introduce these folks to what we might call making the club an extension of themselves. We won't be talking about golf swing, perhaps. We'll talk about tool manipulation. I think it's a fascinating approach to coaching. I also think that it is more in line with the way people learn to do anything, even play golf. So I'm going to have them do some goofy stuff. I'm going to have them do the elevator drill where the golf ball is way up high on a tee this high. I may even duct tape two tees together and get a ball seven inches off the ground, put it way down low, tee it up just a little, tee it up just a lot, and vary these tee heights, I call it the elevator, so that they learn to get the club on the golf ball. I will assuredly have them hitting golf balls with one hand than the other. Most likely with the right hand, left foot, left hand, right foot, feet together, one foot back, the other foot back. Do the swinging start row of golf balls, five golf balls lined up where they have to continually swing. I may have them do, and it's so goofy, folks. I get it. Oh, man, I get it. This is what I do for a living. I, uh, I teach goofiness. I may even have them play a little bit of hockey with their golf club on the range. All in an effort to get people in tune with the weight on the end of the stick, as I call it. Most golfers, club golfers, when I ask them, because I do ask them all the time, can you feel the weight on the end of the club? Weight on the end of the stick. Can you actually feel it during your swing? And they go, huh? I never thought about that. And I go, huh? That's interesting because no good player that I know of can escape the feel of the weight on the end of the stick. Now, that said, it is amazing when I do something very simple and very silly once again. It's amazing how uh, this third grade level of, maybe, maybe second grade level of uh, golf coaching works. And I'll maybe put their right hand only on the golf club and have them swing and try to brush the club on the ground or bounce it. I like to say bounce. Sometimes I have to say the word thump. Sometimes I have to say brush. Sometimes sweep. I know, but words matter. And then I stop them or I'll videotape them and go, uh, look what your body looks like. And they go, yeah. The fact of the matter is, in an awful lot of cases, if you grew up playing sports at least, your body knows how to move. Maybe even if you didn't grow up playing sports, but sometimes when you didn't grow up playing sports, I've got to go in there and teach you how to move a little bit. But I do that with throwing things, step drills. Uh, I have this press forward drill that I got from biomechanist Chris Welch, who I have a ton of respect for. It's this, uh, I call it offline motor learning. 
you're learning the skills of bowling. Yes, I have a uh, force plate and I teach how to push off the ground properly and all this kind of good stuff when folks aren't moving correctly. But it's amazing how far I get when I get them in tune with the club and then trying to do something different with the club. Now you might call it manipulation, but if you think that this game is not about manipulating the golf club, you are dead wrong. This is what great players do. They just get really good at it to the point where they say, I don't manipulate it. Yes, you do. That's how you play. If you didn't manipulate the golf club, I got news for you. You can play off a level Y, maybe off a tee, but once you get on the real field of play where the ball's in the rough, below your feet, above your feet, side hill and above your feet, side hill and below your feet, downhill. Folks, that's about your ability to manipulate the golf club. That's what my goofy drills do. Now, on JD Golf TV, you're gonna have the entire list of what I would call calibration and coordination exercises. They're coming. It's not like I don't work enough, but they're coming. Soon, I promise. And when you do these, you'll be doing them, and maybe, maybe you'll even do them with your kids. And you will think to yourself, wait a minute, wait a minute. If my kid, if I can strike the ball solid like this, I would have to be a far improved golfer. And that is absolutely true, folks. So, there you have it. Don't be afraid to fool around so that you can learn a ton. Done again out. Thank you.